Chris Van Vliet at the Q, and tonight is WWE night at the Cavs game. The Cavs take it on the Bulls, and I'm joined by The Miz, Cleveland's own, even though he's from Parma. He says he's from How Cleveland. Dare you? How dare you? I always say I'm from Cleveland. I, Parma, I mean, really? I, it's yeah. Normandy High School. I, I mean, it's a suburb of Cleveland. I'm allowed to use. Where, okay, where, 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 where do we play? We play at the Q. The sure. Q's in Cleveland. Guess what? I'm from Cleveland. Well, this one's much worse. We've got Dolph Ziggler, <laughs> who's from Cleveland, but claims to be from Hollywood, Florida. Cleveland by way of Hollywood, Florida, by no way one of says Phoenix, that. by way of, no, no, no. From Cleveland, Cleveland, St. Pat's, St. Ed's, Kent State. He went we're, to we're, a private school. He went to a private <laughs> school. We got the smart kids, okay? I went to Normandy, all right? I went to a public school. That's what you do. It's really hard to tell. <laughs> Cavs night here tonight. You're going to be interacting with the fans, and I know that you'll be taking photos, maybe getting some autographs. I want to ask you guys, what's the weirdest thing that you've had to sign? Uh, besides skin? <laughs> I don't uh, want to ask. I mean, well, maybe I, I do want to ask. Ba people have had babies' foreheads, but uh, I try. I try to tell them, listen, that's a little weird, and they're like, "Nah, man, just sign the forehead right there." Like, oh, and they all sound like that. <laughs> it's kind of. I feel like I feel like that's that. That's my imitation. I, yeah, yeah, yeah was, usually. That wasn't bad. I, you know what? Even though skin is the deal, and uh, I had to go past a couple dirty ones, but this one, it would be a guy was at a meet and greet, begged me to sign his forehead. I said no. They said, please do it. So, all right, whatever. As I put the D, it already started bubbling up red. So I finished oh. D, like giant rash. The guy, luckily he was okay. He ended up being okay. I go, I, uh, you asked for this. It was like he was branded afterwards. So he was so proud and luckily he didn't die. So, uh, Dolph, you're, you're looking good, but I know that you're going through an injury right now. Uh, how are you feeling with the concussion? I'm actually feeling pretty good. I've had a couple weeks to rest and not fall down. So, uh, <laughs> I've been uh, back in the gym, feeling good. Uh, really looking forward to get back in the ring real soon. Feeling good. Miz, this is something that you can certainly attest to. Is WrestleMania 27 that you finished the match working through a concussion? Yeah, I, uh, I don't remember my most memorable moment. What, what should have been my most memorable moment in my career, WrestleMania 27, sold out Georgia Dome, 90,000 strong, watching me live, millions at home, and I can't remember any of it because I was concussed. But uh, luckily now we have impact tests and uh, we take the proper precautions uh, to make sure our superstars are okay. Can you give me an impression of uh, what your face was like when you were posing on the top rope at the end of WrestleMania 27? I don't even want to, okay? But I'll tell you what, Chris it was Jer like this. Chris Jericho texted me, texted me and goes, hey man, are you all right, man? It looked really bad. I'm like, I don't know. I don't even know where I am. But I, Daniel Bryan just recently. I watched that match and I had the same look on my face after. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Daniel Bryan just suffered a concussion, but he's, he's already back in the mix. What's different about his injury from yours? Uh, I honestly have no idea. I haven't been to work in a couple weeks. But um, obviously, I think he was just speaking perhaps on Monday night. So obviously, he went through the impact test, the in-ring test, every possible and then some that you can possibly think of because they want to go above and beyond with the new uh, research they found out with concussions, they are very serious. And every superstar is different. I mean, every, every person t uh, get, and every, every injury is different. So you never know how long a person's going to heal. Some take longer than others. And so as long as they're taking the proper precautions and for our safety, it, which is the best bet. I know that you guys were both WWE fans growing up. The WWE Network feels like just the treasure trove of everything imaginable. If you guys weren't WWE superstars right now, how excited would you be for this? I am a WWE <laughs> superstar, and I'm excited for it because I get to watch all my matches nonstop all day, every day. But not only that, but I get to watch you know the, 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 the superstars that I grew up on, you know the Shawn Michaels, the Ric Flairs, the Ultimate Warriors. I mean, I enjoy watching the old school stuff as well as the new school stuff, and even going to the Attitude Era. I mean, you can watch every single pay-per-view ever in the history and not only that but you have you have a bunch of uh, new reality shows you have a, a bunch of different separate shows that they're putting on it's it's an incredible incredible and what a deal there's i mean you don't need to buy 60 dollars pay-per-views anymore you just pay ten dollars a month boom you're in right right you mentioned rick flair there and i know that you were a big fan of his growing up what was it like for you working with him using his finishing move I mean, you used it to win a match last year at WrestleMania. You should ask Dolph that question because I bet yeah. he's really happy about that. But I, I, but I think uh, Dolph's, <laughs> Dolph's, uh, Dolph's opinion is probably like every other superstars. I mean, everyone wanted that spot. But uh, I was the lucky one uh, that, that got, I guess, chosen, if you will. And uh, it's an absolute honor. It's an incredible. I mean, w growing up watching Ric Flair with the way he dressed, the way he walks, the way he talks, like I kind of embodied that, that. I feel like that character. I was like, all right, I want to I want to derive that kind of what I'm doing. And uh, it's been working out really well because I've been winning with it. So thank you, Ric Flair. I'm finally winning. 
Dolph, you're not entered, or you're not working right now, but you're not entered in the Royal Rumble. Any chance we might be able to see you in the match on Sunday? Um, I honest, I wish I had some kind of answer for you. Um, I've gone through a couple different tests. They've all been coming back very positive, which is uh, healing very well. Uh, Sunday, I'll be there to get checked out. So, so it could happen. Anything could happen Anything in the happen. WWE. Yeah, you're exactly okay, so, right. Yeah. You sound almost like Vince there. Yeah. In the WWE. That was a little. Yeah, you lost it. Uh, yeah. yeah, I enjoyed the, second the first one. Didn't one. Do it. Okay. The second one didn't do it. But yeah. luckily, if it was a live show, you'd only have the one chance, just like Monday yes. Night Raw. Yeah. You would have nailed People would be like, oh, that was awesome, or that really sucked a lot, and it was very bad. But then we look better, so. That's true. Yeah. Recently, we saw the belts unified, and both of you are uh, champions in your own right, world heavyweight champion, WWE champion. What does it mean now that there's only one belt to chase after? Uh, it makes it a lot harder. It makes it a bigger target for that champion, and uh, you know, it makes it even more for this Royal Rumble coming up this Sunday uh, to, to win it, because then you go on to main event WrestleMania and go for that WWE World Heavyweight Championship. So uh, no longer do you get a choice uh, when you're a Money in the Bank winner, yeah. you know, it's, it's, it's literally you're going for that, that title. I'm a little confused, though, as a WWE fan because they're saying it's the first time they've ever been unified. I mean, we certainly can't forget what Chris Jericho did in 2001. Uh, obviously, that was a unification as well, right? Sure. Yeah, it was. Um, I would say it's, not, it's a different era now, a different time, different generations. And I think in this new era, this is, it is a huge deal. Uh, like he said, now there's no more choosing. You win that Royal Rumble, you're going after that WWE World Heavyweight Championship. So it takes a few people out of the pecking order, but it's everybody is fighting for one big world title and WrestleMania main event. Well, WrestleMania is just around the corner. For you guys, if we were to put on our WWE fan hats for a moment, who would you Already love? Oh, well, it's always on, I guess. Wait, think of how our hair would be messed up. I know. Yeah, that's true. Who would you love to see come back? Doesn't have to be a main event match, but just a, a WrestleMania match. Before he says anything, you, you can have it, but I, uh, we both have the same one, I think. That's my guess. Ultimate Warrior. Yeah. I'd want to see Warrior come back and give like three clotheslines <laughs> and a splash. That's, and then and shake then, the then, ropes. And then literally run around shaking the ropes and run back. That's all I want. All I want is to hear the music, run down, three clotheslines and a splash, one, two, three, out, run, boom, done, see you, bye. I'm the happiest person in the world. Could he go? I, I don't know. I, I haven't, I, you know. I've never met Ultimate Warrior. You know, he, he's been my favorite ever since a little kid. So I'm excited to hopefully actually get to meet him at the Hall of Fame. So that was going to be your answer? I, we, we've spoken about it before, wishful thinking, hoping that, you know, one day. It would, uh, so, yeah, I mean, Warrior, before we knew about the Hall of Fame, we were like, how cool would it be? Just, all he has to do is run down. I go, yeah. I'll get clothesline. I'll do it. Clothesline. I'll do it. It'd be the Sign greatest thing. <laughs> Ten seconds, the place would blow the roof off oh if there is God. one. You know, it's, uh, That'd be, that'd be well, there's a roof there. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah. needs blown off at some point. Along these same lines, if you can't pick your own catchphrases, what's your favorite catchphrase of all time? Catchphrase of all time? Um, Not yeah. only do you have to tell me, but then you have to deliver it to the camera. Mm. I was always a big, uh, if you smell la -la 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 -la, what the rock is cooking. I always liked oh, that one. Good. I was like, thank you. Okay. I, I had a lot of practice. I used to do it in the mirror when I was in high school. That was really good when you when you had the bald cap on and you tricked us all. You know, you know what's funny? I probably did that once or twice in the mirror, uh, <laughs> like before when I was in high school. So to go out there and actually fool the crowd, yeah, as the Rock, like you have I the don't swagger, think I yeah. look anything like the Rock. But people were chanting up and down, jumping, "Oh, the Rock is here! The Rock is here!" He wasn't there. It was me. <laughs> Dolph? First of all, I like that he said one or two times yeah, in the right. mirror. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Just once or twice. Uh, man, I'm, uh, I hate that we keep saying the same stuff, but... Uh, oh, you were a big rock fan as well? No, <laughs> no he's all right. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's Miz's guy. That's cool. Okay. Um, <clears throat> this guy was also Ultimate Warrior, but... Right. Uh, I think that's for the world to share and enjoy. Uh, I, like, we've said it 20 times, Ric Flair, we've talked about him the whole time. The suit, the style being in main events, making everyone look like a million bucks, and still coming out on top one way or another, that's the man to me. So the catchphrase? Woo! That's pretty good. Yeah, that's that actually, was pretty good. Like, uh, you really got it up there, yeah, too. It was Some like echoing get, here in the lobby of the queue. Get, get it up there. Can you, you, know? can you give me one? This is um, one of them, I think. I, I can, actually. Oh. Thank you very much. <laughs> Woo! Oh, that was it's good. Not as loud as yours, yeah. but yeah. still feels pretty good. Woo! Good. High pitch though. That's the, that's the, he's getting ready, getting ready, getting yeah. ready. That's just in between a couple little promo Ooh. lines. Now it's yeah, a little Ooh, strut around. A strut. Perfect.
Well, I don't want to take up any more time because uh, tonight is WWE night here at the Q. Appreciate your time as always, Dolph Ziggler and The Miz. Thank you. And hey, congratulations to you. to you as well. Thank you very much. Appreciate